Are you getting poor retention on your ombre brows? You've tried different pigments and it's not helping? Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but the chances are it's you and your technique. I can show you this one easy way to change your ombre style for better retention. You can even practice along with me. So let's hit the latex and talk about this one major thing that's gonna help your results. So with an ombre, what we're trying to do is implant the pigment in perfect pixels. And this means that we want to be working at 90 degrees, but also hitting the skin in perfect circles. So when we look at our work and zoom in, even on your eyebrows, you can zoom in and if you aren't making perfect circles and they're more tear shaped, then they're probably tears on the skin. And this is probably down to your technique, your hand speed, possibly even your machine speed. So I'm gonna zoom in on these afterwards. And show you what these pixels look like. So where the needle hits the skin, a perfect circle will have implanted, hopefully into the dermis, if we're at the right um, depth. But if we move our hand too fast, so I've put my machine up a little bit faster, so my hand's going to have to work faster to keep up with it. And actually, I think my hand actually does keep up with it. So let's try a different technique. I'm going to whip shade. Whip shading for beginners can be a little bit aggressive. And if what you're getting when you wipe your work is ovals rather than circles or almost lines, then what you've got is miniature tears in the skin. a little bit on this one on this one and certainly on the last one where I've whip shaded this is why I teach the pendulum movement for beginners whip shading is a great movement but if you can just a little bit on the aggressive side too quick with it what you get is lines each one of those circles has a little tail attached now what that looks like in the skin is a tear and what that equates to is trauma and what do we get with trauma? We get more lymph fluid, more, uh, as because the body is more traumatized, it's sending more lymph fluid there. You have the chance of bleeding. You're generally gonna get more scabby results. And you know, you can lose all your pigment. You can scar your clients, or it can totally go the other way where you just form a scab and it falls off and you've got nothing left. Um, so I want you to practice on your latex and have a look and see what it is you're producing because this here, I've beautifully shaded it. There's nothing wrong with that shading, but if you look at it close up, there are miniature little tears in the skin. And that's going to heal to a rubbish result. Probably going to lose it all. Whereas this, if we zoom in, it's perfect circles. It's hitting the skin in a circle. So it's just dotting it on. Far less trauma, far better results from this one. I hope that helped. Transfer this method to your clients and you'll soon be getting less trauma, less scabbing, better implantation and better results. Are you confident with all needle techniques? I made this great video to show you the correct way to carry them out. Any questions, please ask. And as always, I appreciate all your thumbs up and subscriptions and I'll see you soon.